Godzilla, the sleeping crypto giant that has awoken from its slumber, achieving better returns this week than any other coin on the charts. What is this coin? Why is it pumping? And where is it going? Stick around so we can explore. G'day crypto goers, I'm Adam Stokes. Welcome back to the channel where as always a free and easy way of supporting this work is by simply hitting that like button, subscribing if you're new, ensuring you also knock that notification bell so you never miss a new episode. Also watch out for the bots in the comments. I will never ask you to contact me via Telegram or WhatsApp. They are scammers trying to steal your money. Block them, ignore them, report them, whatever it may be, stay away. Okie dokie, let's get into this bad boy Zillica, a coin I reviewed over two years ago. I made my move on this coin when it was well under a cent. I stacked it for a while. I luckily did not let it go. I just held it. I wrote it out. Then it was available for staking, so I started staking it. Over the last few months, it's been getting some very good staking rewards. And then this morning, boom, away she goes. And this thing is not slowing down. Look at this, almost vertical going straight up from well we were below a cent mark over a year ago and now we're around the three cents at the beginning of this year and now we're at as mentioned up at 21 cents these are huge returns so it has actually been tracking up quite consistently over the last year or so but this is crypto look at this thing shoot off up up and away particularly over the last week here we are on the seven day chart it's just been stepping up nicely and then bang punching out so let's check out some of the tokenomics of this coin before we look at what it is and why it's pumping so much first of all over to the stats get your pens out my fellow crypto nerds current price 21 cents up 108 percent in the last 24 hours trading volume around the 8.9 billion dollars Market dominance is at 0.12%. If you don't know what that is, think of Bitcoin. It's at about 41 and a bit percent. This is under a percent, but it doesn't really matter about that dominance. It's really about the price movement. If you want to make money on coins, it's not so much as dominance, it's about how much it can move. And it has moved a lot over the last week, month, year, even. If you look at its history, it's way up. We'll get to that percentage return in a second. But the market cap, currently around $2.652 billion, which is up 110%, of course, over the last 24 hours the fully diluted market cap is 4.4 billion going further down looking at the trading volume 6.8 bill and we have this is exciting stuff an all-time high of 25 cents zillica's roi sit down my crypto brothers and sisters you're going to like this one 5,429 percent and that ROI is based on its earliest known price but the real one that I like to look at is the circulating supply currently the circulating supply is 12.58 billion but the maximum supply this is really important to consider Bitcoin's 21 million this one's 21 billion this is a kind of OG coin in the sense it's been around for a while so it's not a quick pump and dump which is why I'm talking about it now because first of all you could probably tell in my voice I'm in a good mood because I've made a crap load of money today so much money of course I have to take some of those profits off the table I'll make a move with this coin in case you're wondering what I'm doing I'll probably dollar cost average out I'll probably take a third out so I've got free Zilliqa bags. I'll probably put a third into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'll split that. So it's like 15% in each and I'll keep a third on the table. That way I can't lose. That's just my method. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying that worked very well for me with Doge when that went ballistic. And it's funny, some of these coins that you buy in previous cycles, as in the pre-2017 cycle, they're worth almost nothing. You're not even sure they're going to do anything. Sure, you do some research in it, but you put some chips on the table, you have a bit of a punt, and then bang, something like today happens. You play the long game, and keep in mind, the long game is not that long in crypto. Many people come in and they just want to buy today and sell tomorrow. And I'm like, hey, you know, you can get stupid returns, like lifetime returns in five years. And newcomers are like, no, it's not fast enough. And you're like, five years? You can't wait five years to make more money than you'd make in a lifetime in the real estate market, in your 401k, in superannuation, on the stock exchange. You're not going to wait five years to make more money than all of those markets combined. Well, you go off to Poverty Street, us in the crypto land, we're going to play this game correctly, and here is a day where it just pays off. So what is Zillica? Well, I'm glad you asked. In a couple of paragraphs, Zillica aims to be the world's first public blockchain to rely entirely on a sharded network. 
This allows it to achieve high throughput and a high rate of transactions per second, which it says solves the scalability issue. Because each shard processes transactions individually, as the network grows and the number of shards increases, the number of transactions that can be processed per second also increases. As well, records are immediately added to the Zilliqa blockchain after being processed, meaning that no additional time for confirmation is required. Zilliqa seeks to become the blockchain of choice for large-scale enterprise use, including among the advertising, gaming, entertainment and financial services and payment industries. In its 2018 position paper, its team states that the platform aims to rival traditional centralized payment methods such as Visa and MasterCard. So the main takeaway from that, it's taking on Visa and MasterCard and it's doing it in a more efficient way than other blockchains are doing it. That's what it's trying to achieve. And in fact, I remember when I reviewed this a while ago, and for those of you who have been with the channel for a long time, you may remember the Stokesy and Stoner show that I did many years ago. We were discussing on that show how Zillica at the time had actually partnered with Pepsi, and that was big news. All the way back then, that was big news. Many years later, we can see that the project is continuing to develop and we can see that although there's a lot of competition in the market something has triggered it to make it pump today and what is that thing well let's go check it out this article from the good people at you today gives us some insight and reads zillica which has been mostly under the radar for over a year is now close to entering the top 60 cryptocurrencies by market cap after yet another price spike currently sitting below harmony or one and BitTorrent new or btt the cryptocurrency attracted plenty of attention on March 26, after suddenly spiking more than 100% within a single day, despite the relatively sluggish performance of the broader cryptocurrency market. Despite facing some selling pressure, Zill managed to maintain the rally, adding another 71% within the following three days. It is worth noting that the rally came after Metapolis, a soon-to-be-launched metaverse project powered by Zillica, announced its tie-up with Global Talent Awards app Agora. Okay, so let's just break away from the article for a second there and consider what they've said. This is really because of what's happening in the metaverse, but as we discussed earlier, we saw that this coin was in fact primarily designed, it can do many things, but it was primarily designed to take on Visa and MasterCard. But because of its back-end capability, it can adapt to an evolving market. And I think this is why it was sitting so quiet for so long, because there were so many competitors trying to take on MasterCard and Visa, and there were in fact so many competitors to the Zillica project. But now we can see with a company or a project as agile as Zillica and a backend as capable as theirs, they can in fact adapt to their surroundings and leverage upon what they've already established, not only in their technology, but in their community. And I will touch on their community in a second. They can adapt to go to where the market needs them and where they can be best used. The community behind Zillica is very positive. If you look at any crypto project, the community is very important. From my experience in traditional investing, sure, community plays a part, but not in the same way as it does in crypto. In traditional stocks, it's really about your marketing, your advertising, and the real-life application in the market at that time. But in the crypto space, because so many of these projects are gaining investors within a, if you will, closed community, that is comparative to other markets, crypto is somewhat of a closed community. We are getting much bigger and many people are coming in. But going back to 2017... Mainstream investors weren't in crypto, and within the crypto community, we were quite small. So for a project to succeed, you needed good community drive behind it. As the market evolves, absolutely community is a huge part, but what you can see, it's really about these partnerships with other projects, other technologies, such as the metaverse, and of course, new investors coming into the space. Tie them all together, and when everything aligns, moon time, baby. But reading on, Sandra Halal, head of Metaverse and NFTs at the blockchain startup, stated that the partnership would put Zillica in a leading position in the Metaverse sector. And by the way, if you haven't seen my Metaverse video yet, check it out, link below or top right. It is not exactly clear whether Zillica's Metaverse play was able to single-handedly trigger such a massive upward move. In my opinion, in crypto, we're like a herd of gazelles. A lion walks past and we can all be startled. Where do we move, up or down? It depends on which line is startling us. Prior to partnering with Agora, Metapolis also secured several eSports partnerships to gain more visibility. 
The Metaverse platform will be launched in early April in Miami, Florida. Zilliqa was launched back in 2017 by researchers Amit Kumar and Sinzu Don. Now here's a key takeaway to consider. The project initially positioned itself as a much faster Ethereum alternative capable of achieving high throughput because of its sharding technology. Now on that point, as we saw, it was taking on Visa and MasterCard, but most certainly I recall it was saying, we're going to beat Ethereum, but that really died out. They didn't really focus on Ethereum anymore because Ethereum got too big, too fast, too much market share, and most importantly, too many competitors to Ethereum have come up in the market. But why I get excited about Zilliqa, besides all the money it makes me and all the staking rewards it gives me, is because it's such an agile company. It can pivot on its position to adapt to its surroundings and achieve great success. And many projects beyond crypto, I think this is a great case study for any business out there. Adapt to your environment. Don't go down with a sinking ship. Don't be a Kodak. Don't hold on to something that you are going to ride to the very end just because you think, I've put so much money into it. We were going in this direction. We're going down with the ship. No. If you read my book, 28 Pro Trader Tips, The Art of Trading, sure, I'm talking about it from a trading perspective, but it really flows on to the business operation. What has changed? I speak about pivot on your position. Don't let your ego get in the way. If you're a business, if you're an investor, whatever it may be, if you're a trader and you see new information, you must pivot on your position if you want to succeed. And Zilliqa, in my mind, is the pinnacle of this. Last September, Zilliqa announced the launch of its own non-fungible token marketplace. Yet another example where NFTs didn't really exist when this was first being created. Yes, they existed in theory, but I can tell you as a crypto goer from the early 2016s and 2017s, NFTs wasn't really a term. In fact, NFTs hasn't been really a term since probably the last 12 months it's really come in. The technology did exist, but we didn't really look at NFTs until we got into the digital art space. And for those who get triggered by digital art and say NFTs are all a scam, don't worry about the art. Art is simply just one possible thing that we can do it. Everything will be NFTs in the future, everything. Driver's license, birth certificate, marriage certificate, death certificate, land titles, movie tickets, plane tickets, membership cards, loyalty cards, all of it. It makes perfect sense that it will be an NFT. Why? Because we're already in the digital space, so we don't want to carry around paper and cards like prehistoric cavemen. Who carries around cards? I haven't carried a wallet for probably four or five years. Why do I need a wallet when I've got a phone that has access to all my money? The only thing I have on my phone is I have a slide case, and in that slide case, that's where I put my driver's license, because I've got to have that one on me. But once my driver's license is an NFT, and heaven forbid I get pulled over, which I hope I don't, a cop will come and say, he won't say driver's license and registration. Well, they do that in America. In Australia, they don't ask you registration. They just say driver's license. But in the future, they won't say that. They'll say QR code. And I'll hold my phone up or maybe even a tattoo on my arm, which is a type of branding. That's a different discussion. And the cop will simply scan your QR code and everything will come up. Your driver's license, your identity, everything will be an NFT. We already have digital identities. I know that might be triggering to many people, but if you've got a social security number or a tax file number or a bank account, these are all forms of digital IDs. So you just simply put them on the blockchain as an NFT, they become immutable and easier to access. Now that we can see that Zilliqa has launched its own non-fungible token marketplace, I would suggest that a company as agile as this would not only be focusing on art, but rather what I just described, real life applications of digital identification and membership on the blockchain to make life easier and faster, combined with their big partnerships in real life business and their sharding technology, as well as the community behind it and a very long history. Zilliqa is a coin that I, in fact, have a lot of confidence in and see well beyond merely a cryptocurrency where you buy low and sell high, but rather real life application in our real life migration from the physical to the digital world and everything in between. Well done to all you Zilliqa holders out there as we can now see a little bit of resistance around the 21.7 cent mark. The coin has just pulled back to 19 cents. I think this is a healthy pullback. 
Remember, if you want to do anything crypto safely, including getting yourself some Zillica and staking it, then head over to thecrypto.land, that's www.thecrypto.land, where you can buy crypto, lend crypto, stake crypto, do your crypto taxes, earn yourself some free crypto, or get yourself a crypto hardware wallet, that and a whole lot more. Also check out the token metrics link here, where there is a 25% sale ending just today, so you better get in there quickly, on getting some artificial intelligence on crypto data. I've been using this site for a while and I also interviewed the founder, Mr. Bellina, on this channel some time ago. If you want to check it out, head over to the crypto.land and either join directly through this link or click on the how to button here where you can see my interview with the founder. No, I'm not being paid for this shout out, but I think it is a very good site and particularly as there's a 25% discount today, I think it's worth mentioning. Moreover, if you join through the crypto.land, it will give me a small kickback which helps me help you. I'm Adam Stokes. Thanks for listening. Happy investing. Go Zillica, you good thing. And I'll talk to you next time.